Hello, today I'm going to show you how I cut solid score lines, what I call with a kiss cut, using Silhouette Studio. And I am using a Business Edition, um, but I'm sure you could do this with at least Designer Edition is what you need the minimum to use uh, my SVG files. So normally you have a file like this that has dashed lines. And this is um, part of an, the Octagon handle box that I have. Um, but it does dash, it'll cut the lines. And what we want to do is, there's a cleaner way to do that if you cut, almost do like a kiss cut um, using solid lines. So that's one of the reasons that I include a solid, li solid line version of my cut files. So if we go down here in the lower left, this is a part of a new version of the new software. Um, we have, this is for, if you're curious, um, release 4.2.279, which recently came out as of this video. So this just expands your library on the left. So I already imported the files. So this is a new view as well, which is kind of nice because you can make them as big as small as you want. And this is the file that had the dash lines, which is by default in when you unzip the files. When you unzip my files, usually you see the um, SVG files under SVG's files folder. And it, there's an octacon box with handle. There's a PDF in there for reference and a picture. So under the SVG files folder, there are these two files, which are the ones with dash lines. If we look at them, let me do it with a preview. If you look at them, this one is the one with dash score lines and this one is just the panels. Anything that has score lines, there'll be a duplicate version in solid score lines, but they have solid score lines. And this is what I want to show you today. And I'll show you the difference of what they look like once you cut both. So you'd want to bring that in. And just to show you how easy it is to bring into this new, new software these days, let me delete one of these. If you have the folder open, so this one, you just drag it over and drop it. And I have a folder called uh, Simply Crafty SVGs and it dropped it in there. So just create a folder and that's it. So we're going to bring that file in. And then to collapse it, it's this icon here. So now we have all these. I'm going to ungroup them because I only want to cut one of each so you can see the difference and how we do it. So we all know how we do this. Well, most of us do if we have instructions on that. But if you highlight everything and just go click on send in the upper right hand corner. And then if you use just the default um, cutting, which is action by simple, you say cut, and then all the cut lines will turn red. So, and then you make your changes over here and um, select the tool you want to use. And since I'm using a Cameo 3, it says tool one, which is default, and then tool two, two there's nothing in there right now. So right now, that's the way that you would just cut it out and uh, we'll cut a version of that like that so you can see what it looks like versus this other method using the solid score lines. So let's just skip that for now. So here's how I use um, the advanced settings. So if I want to cut this and now I want to cut the score lines and do a little kiss cut, I'm going to click on send. And in here, I'm not going to use the simple um, settings for uh, cutting. I'm going to use the, I like to use the fill, but you can use line or fill, but let's go to fill. You can also use layer as well, but layer can be confusing um, depending on who made the file. Um, I say that because all files, SVG files are different. So with most of my files, I don't have a, a stroke or path line around my cut line. And usually my cut line is black. I mean, not my cut line. My score line is black. So you see the red. 
So right now I can choose to say, okay, I'm not going to, the one with the fill color, I'm going to cut it with cardstock texture. And, and that's with tool one, which you see is red. And then with tool two, I'm going to change it to my own personalized setting, which I will explain in a moment here. But we want to make sure it's tool two and not red. So select the right one here. And then I'll check it. So you can see when it's checked, it's highlight, it shows. But that has no fill color because it's just a stroke, a black stroke. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my setting, which is score ratchet blade. So with the setting, I use a ratchet blade that is set to zero. This is what it looks like. And then I set up the settings within the software. So for me, I found this, if you come down at the bottom here, there is no zero. So you just need to find a setting and I'll show you this setting. I'll show you how to set it up yourself. But I set it to one because there is no zero on here. And then I kept it at speed five, which was a default for, I believe, cardstock. And then the force I toggled with until it worked for me. So you want to do a couple tests for yourself and with your blade to see what works. Believe between five and seven, it seems to do a kiss cut that cuts enough to fold, but it doesn't look horribly bad with textured paper. And of course, if you're doing a kiss cut, um, it does depend what kind of paper you cut, what it will look like. So when we do this, we go ahead and just set it up and then we just just hit send and what will happen is that it will just do a kiss cut on tool number two using the ratchet blade and then I'm using the auto blade right now for my tool number one and it'll cut with the tool number one. So let's just go back really quick so you know how to set this up. So what I would normally do once you get to this point is select something like cardstock plane. And then what we can do, once we have a setting there, add new, new material type, and it'll be right there. And we want to rename it to what you want. And I'm just going to put four scoring. And then down here, you can change the settings. So I would change the settings to one and then the force like I said play around with it but let's change it to seven to match my other one and then we're gonna hit save so it saves it so when I come back and forth I'm gonna go to textured which is another one of my saved ones and then we're gonna go back to for scoring and make sure that it's set up correctly it is so that's how you would set it up And close that. So we're going to cut this out and then I'll show you what it looks like. So let me set it to all your your user defined uh, materials are at the bottom. So I'll set to that and then we'll hit send. And as you can see as it cuts it's just going to cut with that ratchet. It's cutting the um, score line very lightly with that ratchet blade. And then when you do it the conventional way, it just kind of, you see, it just kind of goes up and down like a, just vibrates up and down when you have to do the dash line. So it takes a while. So this is kind of, it cuts the paper so you can see what it looks like once it's finished. And I'll com show you the comparison to the dash line version. So as you can tell, you can see the cuts with the dash line. So it does make it cleaner. And this method doesn't o only apply to SVGs that are imported like our SVGs. Um, this can be done with other images in the Silhouette Store. So let me expand that. Let's go find uh, a card. <coughs> I don't know which cards these are. I'm just going to pick one. Let's go ahead and, and bring one of these in, which is a, I believe it's a card from Lori Whitlock. 
So we're going to bring that in. Now it's, here's where you probably need to use a different method um, for advanced cutting. So at this point, this whole thing is grouped. So we're going to ungroup it. Going to move these out of the way. Put them to the right. So here's the card we want to cut. So all these are cut lines. You could by default do this. There's one of two things you could do. When you go to send it, you can see that it defaults to cut them all. You can see by line um, color that they're the same color, so we can't do it from that. And the same thing with fill. They're all the same, so you can't do it with that. So you could do it by layer, but there's a ton of layer layers. So what I say is come back to design and take all your lines. Oops. I'm using the shift key as I select these. And we go and change the line color to, let's just say, kind of this really bright purple. So when you go to cut it, you can go by line color and you can say, okay, for this one, the blue, because that's where the lines are, I want to use my setting. But for the red, and we have to make sure, I'm sorry, we have to make sure it's on the second tool. So I want to make sure it's set to tool two. And then this one, I'm unchecking these. You see if I uncheck that? It unhighlights. So for the for these part, that's the cut portion. And then we don't use these other two. So you can go ahead and send them, and this would do like a light kiss cut with dash lines. However, if you wanted a straight line, you could just replace them. So you can move them over. I'm holding the shift key. I'm using a line and holding the shift shift key and just replacing it. And this is where it might be helpful to zoom in and make sure that you're placing them at the right place. So you could do this. Come across and basically what you're doing is just replacing them with your own lines. For, with cards, it wouldn't take that long. So I'm holding the shift key as I drag it over to make this line so it it um, locks it into a horizontal. Then line it up. And this is why I include the solid line, solid line version so you don't have to do this in our files. And then we get this last two lines here. You could always copy them too if they're the same, but with just a basic card, a really basic card, um, this would be easy to, to make a change. It's only one line. So let's get this last one. And just making sure it's they're lined up right down the center. You probably wouldn't want to do this really complicated card, but I'm kind of giving you the process if you wanted to with any other file that you get. It would probably be very difficult for 3D files. So I'd have to delete all those other lines. So there's delete. And then to get to the other ones, I'm going to go in the lower right hand corner here and go to layers. And those are the lines that I just put in. So there's one. I'm holding the shift key again to select all the groups. We went to delete, deselect that. So I'm deleting all those. And what's left are the lines, which I made black. So when we come to send it, 
the same thing you can see that there's no longer that color we're going to say black and then we're going to make sure it says score or your scoring whatever you name it and you can see as I toggle it on and off that tells me it's active so that's the way you can change it for a silhouette design that has score lines and here's the final card what it looks like folded so you can see it's very clean when folded there's no dashed cut lines um, much better than with the dashes I think hope you found this helpful um, if you have any questions, you can always contact me through Simply Crafty SVGs. For additional questions, I'll do my best to answer you in a timely basis. Thank you for watching.